looks good. And this is slow. Good, good. Good morning. Wow. Good morning. Here we are in Mio. Um, we have a strange breakfast this morning because uh, yesterday was Sunday and um, by the time we got to the supermarket they were just ready for closing and they had no um, baguettes or croissant or pan au left. So we ended up with uh, a bread called pan segla, which was very nice and we've got some left. We arrived on campsite last night and checked in and um, the, there is a little shop that sells um, bread and croissants. So I thought, okay, I'll go up this morning and get some. Well, the lady on reception didn't tell me that you had to order it the night before. So there was no croissant and no pan au chocolate left. So this morning we've got um, scrambled eggs on pan au segla. Looks like Slaw's enjoying it anyway. All right to me, get some brown sauce on. No. Mm. So, we'll enjoy our breakfast and catch up with you in a bit. of ducks on it, some huge fish jumping um, and some superb views up there. We saw people um, paragliding yesterday so hopefully we'll see some more today. Beautiful. And we're gonna go for a wander around this uh, lovely little site now and uh, see what we can see. It's one of the smallest sites we've been on for a long time. It's only 78 pictures so it does feel very uh, very intimate, um, very exclusive. I don't mean that in a snobby way. I mean, there's not many people on it. I don't. It's, there's not many people on it, so it's uh, it's really nice. Um, and uh, there's not many children either. Not that we're against children. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Just when we're on holiday. We've had children. Yeah. Been right. There, been there, done that. Right, let's go have a look around this lovely little site. Lovely, isn't it? That pool looks so inviting. That's the bar which uh, you will have seen. We frequented last we night. Frequented for one. We will go earlier tonight. Maybe. Maybe. Gonna go out for tea, hopefully. Yeah. It's hot though. It's gonna be 30 degrees today. And we're not even in the south yet. Feeling hot, hot, hot. 
Beautiful. So that's the restaurant right by us. Um, that we're gonna go and have a meal in tonight, but uh, it's closed on a Lundy. <laughs> Might not be having all the tea. Well, canoeing. This is the place for you. Nicely Bill, nicely Bill. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> So Mrs. Slow won't let me drink at this time. No, he could have done, but he's uh, chickened out. He decided it's too early. Well, you know that song? It's five o'clock somewhere. It's only 12 midday. Even Slow can't drink at that time. Well, he can, but he'll be going to bed at five. So we've just stopped off um, in a little cafe bar for a drink and we've had to show our Covid pass. Now you can show your NHS pass but we were a little bit wary about doing that just in case anybody didn't accept it and our French wasn't good enough to explain it. So we downloaded the Tous Covid app. So there it is on my front page. You download this at home and you scan in, you see here, Scan a QR code. Oh, I pressed it. <laughs> there, scan a QR code. So you get your, your NHS COVID QR code at home, scan it in, and then save it under my favourite certificate, and there it is. That's what you show. And then you're allowed in, and you're allowed to have drinks and food. If you haven't got your COVID pass, you're not coming in. Good evening. 
Good evening. First drink of the day, and it's 5.57 p.m. First drink of the day. What a good boy. <laughs> no, we're going out for tea. Cheers. So, so we better stay sober. It's been hot as well. I've spent most of the afternoon um, sat at the side of the river reading. Very hot. Very nice though. Nice, just to relax. What were you up to, Slaw? Uh, just chilling out the van and doing a bit of uh, editing <laughs> with the dogs, keeping them cool. Yeah. I attempted to go to the fridge for a beer, but I didn't. Give me a medal then. No. Why not? There we go. No. He's not with us. Very nice rose, eh, this, anyway? Just pel pel fort. Mm -hmm. Cracking stuff. So we're going to move on tomorrow. Because um, it's the day that we arrive in uh, Port Grimaud. So that's why we're out early for tea. Um, we've got to pack up when we get back, ready for the off. So we need to do... Um, uh, a shop tomorrow before we arrive on site because once we get pitched then we're there for eight nights so we need to get as much heavy stuff as we can tomorrow so we'll need um, drinking water beer yeah although we're, we're next to a bar on the beach but oh yeah we'll still have some tinnies yeah or bottles or bottles yeah yeah so we'll get the heavy stuff tomorrow um, we we'll pick up bits and pieces as we're out and about when we've got the dog trailer on. Um, and but the panniers, you know, we can pick up fresh stuff. But um, when we're going to be pitched somewhere for quite a few nights, we like to get the heavy stuff while, we've, while we're in the motorhome so we don't have to cart it around with us. So. Yeah. And then when we go on bikes, we haven't got to cart a load of stuff. Well, I have. I've got to cart dogs. Yeah. As you've seen, in, uh, if you've followed us, you'll have seen me pulling dogs. And we've heard uh, of a, a chap on this site, uh, a chap who lives in uh, near Port Grimoire, that um, there's no need for masks down there, other than in shops. So That's going to be interesting, because on the Grimo tourism board that I've been following, to make sure that I'm up to date with what you need for the area, uh, it does say on there that since a certain date in July that... Um, obligatory mask wearing outdoors was brought back in again um, so we've brought loads with us but if we don't have to do then that's I think, I think I think what he said is that the police nobody can be bothered to enforce it oh, I think yeah. it might be the law but nobody can be bothered so we'll see we'll see probably will be when we get there I mean here you don't see people wearing them out and about but most shops um, and restaurants say um, that the mask is obligatory to go inside well, that's fine. Fine. As long as I don't have to wear it laid on beach. No, we definitely don't have to wear it on the beach or on our pitch. Uh, we checked that before we came. Great. Otherwise, you'd end up with a white <laughs> face. A <laughs> tan mark. Like a white patch. <laughs> right. Looks like rain. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe not. Right. See you at the restaurant. Cheers. What are these, eh? What do you have to do with them? No, there's no, no way for coins. Oh, you have to scan. Oh, is it a scan? Yeah, you have to scan the uh, code. Oh, we'll just eat over with them. You can have room, won't you? Yeah.
Eh, coucou Ouais. On est des jumeaux, on se ressemble. Mm -hmm. Une réservation. Ouais. À 7 heures. Ouais. À l'eau, l a w à l'extérieur. Ok. Le oh. <rire> nom de l o l a w l -A. Pression, no. you've got bud, no. No. left ear. Will you just sit down? What's after me? You're making such a fuss about it. Who? Are you listening? What? You asked me what you wanted, to, what you could drink. Are you listening? Yeah. Right. Bud, lefty blonde, lefty ruby, Ho Garden, triple Carmelite, Ginette, Ho Garden Rosé, Goose Island, Quack. And Lefty Blonde Royale. They're all Pression. Pression is pump beer. Just need to show you the. Uh... You can see that. The uh, strength of the lager. 8.4% is the highest. Triple Karma Light and um, Quack. So I don't know what slow is going to happen. Can I You've got to walk back. Yeah, I've got a pack of water, don't <laughs> Might be doing that in the morning. Lots of choice. What are you having, Mrs. Slaw? Chicken Roma. What's that? Pizza? No, no. A salad? No, it's chicken with mozzarella, tomato sauce, eggs, chips and salad. Mm. What's slow in? No idea. Entrecote. Slow's gone large. And I've gone for a local wine, Cote de Mio. Let's tell, tell you what it's like. Oh, that's very, very nice. That'll go perfectly with my chicken. And what have you got? Lefe Rube. Smells like raspberries. Is it? Yeah. Slows and that. Here it goes. Here it goes. Lefe Rube. I'm a virgin. Not quite sure, actually. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what it tastes of. I think you're right, it does taste a bit raspberry type. It smells of raspberry. Yeah. raspberry. We'll have to have a blonde next then, won't we, at seven point whatever percent it is. Happy days. So this is Slaw's Choice, where we're eating this evening. It's um, a, a place called Au Bureau. I think it's possibly a chain, looking at it. Um, it's very English, Slaw's Choice. No, I, I didn't want English. Well, you chose it. it. You chose it. It looks posh. <laughs> so, I've gone for Chicken Roma and Slaw has gone for Dorado. So, we'll see what it's like when it comes. But the staff are very nice. They're um, appreciative and helpful for my schoolgirl French. Um, and all's going well so far. Apart from the left here. Your choice. I'm going on the blonde. 
I'm going to go for an 8.4% 8, 8 next. We'll try one of them. Are you yeah. yeah, why not? Why not? Are you going to go drive tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to go to drive for four hours. Four hours, something like that. Happy. Slow zoom. Dorado. That looks really good. What you got there? Uh, chicken Roma. It's um, mm. a, a, a fillet of chicken like that. And it's been fried with mozzarella and tomato sauce and a fried egg on top. This looks good. Do you want some water? Yeah. Very, very good. Mais ça suffit, c'est trop grand. That's enough. It's far too big. Far too big. Slows Dorada. Spot on. Absolutely beautiful. Ready for another beer? After I've drunk the black currant juice or whatever it is I'm drinking. Ribena. Ribena. Encore un van de verre. Start again. Encore un verre de vin rosé côté mieux. Where? Um, proper left here now. Man beer. Oh yeah. I need to get one of my uh, electric scooters to get home. How do we nick one? That's what um, me and Janine were drinking. That's what me and Janine were drinking in uh, Port Grimo about, oh gosh, six years ago. Awfully good. That's falling down water. Right there. Tre bien. Oui. Pampered pooch. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Well, that's the end of today's vlog. Um, we've had a lovely day here in Mio. We've just been for a very nice meal and uh, thought we'd walk up here, back to the square, and um, do our sign off with the lovely fountains. And um, we've missed them. <laughs> Slow wanted a beer. They were and, there. Uh, they were there. They were there. And, and now they're not. So. My fault. I wanted a beer. And they turned them off at 9.40 p.m. Why 9.40? I don't know. We missed the fountains, but it doesn't matter. So, if you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you want to join us on more of our adventures, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of when we upload more content, don't forget to ring that bell. So, à bientôt, mes amis. À bientôt. Thank you.